If you're applying to graduate medicine in the UK and want to know how you can earn the right to wear one of these, in this video I'm going to talk about whether you should sit the GAMSAT. We're going to discuss the four questions that you need to ask yourself and go through to make that decision as to whether that exam is right for you. And at the end I'm going to show you some resources that are going to teach you everything you need to know to score highly enough to get into the very competitive GAMSAT Grad Universities for Medicine. So before we even look at the GAMSAT, there are a few questions that we need to ask ourselves to understand where we are in orientation to the med school application when we are a grad. So the very first thing that I need to explain to you is whether you classify as a grad. A lot of people think, well, I'm only going to apply for the five year course, which is a non-grad one. Therefore, it doesn't matter whether I hold a degree. Now, the important thing to realize is if you hold a degree at the time of applying that you plan on using as part of your application to give you the eligibility criteria to qualify for that university, you are a grad regardless of whether you are in the four year bucket or the five year bucket. So regardless of which course you're applying to, if you hold a degree, you are considered a grad applicant. Now the second question that you need to ask yourself is, are you able to self fund the course or are you going to need student finance? Because as a grad, if you are going to the five year course, then this can as a second degree, whereas the four-year course counts as a continuation of your degree. Therefore, the four-year course is available for student finance, so you can get your fees paid for and a little bit of maintenance help, whereas if you go down the five-year route, you're completely on your own. So then we can come on to understanding the context of whether we should go for the GAMSAT. Now, if you are only able to go down the four-year option, which is what most grads can only go down, then what I would say is that I would highly, highly recommend that you go for the GAMSAT. The reason being that there are only a set number of four year courses available and practically by doing the GAMSAT, you essentially double your chances because there are twice as many universities available. Now, very briefly, here are the current universities that require GAMSAT to enter the four year medicine course in the UK. And now I'm gonna talk very briefly about the fors and against. Now, really the only against the GAMSAT is that a lot of people find it difficult with a science background, but it really, I'm gonna explain why it's something that you shouldn't really worry about too much if that is your main reservation. And the second one is, understandably, the idea of having to do a second exam on top of everything. But I'm also gonna talk about, if you do go down that, when to do it and how to go about it to kind of eliminate the encroachment on all other parts of the med school application that you should be focusing on. Now, the first main reason that I would recommend going for the GAMSAT is that it is much more predictable than the UCAT. People who train really well for the UCAT can do well in it, but they can still have a variance as to what the score is going to be and usually have a range within which they're going to land based on whether they have a good day or an off day. Now, I'm all about aiming for a 3000 plus as a grad because that's so important. And if you want to learn how you can do that, I'd recommend that you check out this program here. But otherwise, the GAMSAT is much more predictable in that even if you don't know science very well, you, all you need to do really is learn the fundamentals very well and it's more about the application of that science and how you discuss it and your ability to, kind of, like I say, apply the basic knowledge to a situation and really just write some very coherent essays around that. Now, before I get loads of critics and comments, not what I'm not saying is that you don't need to understand the science, but equally, the application is just as important. So having a good grasp of the fundamentals is going to put you in very good stead. Now, another point in the four GAMSAT column is the fact that you can have multiple attempts at it. Now, your score is valid for two years. So in theory, if you sit it in September of, let's say, 2024, that means that you can have it counting for that application cycle, although you won't know your score because you you get it after you've submitted your application, but that's another discussion. But then it will also count for the application of September 2025 and September 2026. So basically it covers, or if you time it right, it will cover three application cycles, i.e. lasting two years. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that people tend to get much better in subsequent attempts. That is a great thing because each attempt, you can take your best score of the ones taken in the last two years. And typically what happens is people do okay in the first one, they do much better in the second one and peak around the third one according to the data. Now, on the FutureDoc program, which you can check out in this video here, we've helped people just smash it on the very first attempt with some great teaching. So if you want to find out how we can get our help to do that, then just check that out there. It's application to the program, we don't take everybody on, but really it's more around attitude and your willingness to work with us that we kind of judge who to take on. But as you've probably heard me say in previous videos, we believe in our program 
program so much that really it's not so much of where you're at when you come to the program, but it's more, we're so confident that we'll get you through it and get you where you want to be, that it's more kind of choosing the people that we want to work with. So don't let that hold you back from submitting an application. And really the final reason that I would say in favor of going for the GAMSAT is the students in my cohort and the ones that we teach tend to find that the relationship between the inputs and the outputs of GAMSAT more linear. Whereas people will talk about UCAT where they're putting all this time in and they don't seem to be seeing much improvement. By the way, improvement does happen, but it just takes a bit of time to break through the next threshold. However, GAMSAT, you do see much more of a linear relationship, which is a bit more satisfying, a bit more encouraging, keeps people going, and eventually they get to a point where they really enjoy the process, especially that's what I've found with the students that we teach. If we get it right, we can really help them, like I say, make the most of it, make it enjoyable, and that will in inevitably correlate to a really good score. So if you'd like somewhere to find out more about how you can do really well in the GAMSAT, I recommend that you check out this free playlist here. Otherwise, if you would like some help, as I said, you can check out this video here to find out more. But I hope that has helped you make a decision as to whether the GAMSAT is right for you. If you are a grad and your only options are the four-year course, I would strongly recommend that you do it. It will practically double your chances of getting in to what is already an incredibly competitive 34 applicant to one ratio course. So best of luck with the GAMSAT and I hopefully will see you in one of those videos where we can teach you more about it.